Hello and welcome to 21st Century. I'm Daljit Dhaliwal. Robinson Crusoe Island, a place so remote that the famous novel by Daniel Defoe was inspired by its history. But the island's modern day role is far from fictional. Today, it's a crucial link in the planet's security network, keeping a constant lookout for seismic events, both natural and man-made. 700 kilometers off the coast of the South American country of Chile in the Juan Fernandez archipelago, the towering volcanic mountains of Robinson Crusoe rise dramatically from the Pacific Ocean. Far from most anywhere, few live here, and only a handful will ever visit its magnificent shores. But just like in the novel that inspired its name, paradise can change in an instant. Tsunami. Para nosotros, tsunami. No sé, para mí, un tsunami, no sé. No, nunca lo asimilé que hacer así tan, tan terrible, salirse al mar. Juana Barreras will never forget the early morning hours of February 27, 2010. In February 2010, a massive 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake rocked the Chilean mainland, launching a merciless wall of water that would slam into Robinson Crusoe in less than 45 minutes. 16 people died that morning, and the village, home to only 700 people, was devastated. But the destruction from this natural disaster had even further reaching consequences. Five, Among the wreckage four, was scientific three, equipment for detecting two, a global man-made danger. In 2003, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, the CTBTO, installed a monitoring station on Robinson Crusoe to detect nuclear testing in the Pacific Ocean. But in the blink of an eye, the tsunami swept the station from its foundation. This is the old CPF uh, that we used to have here. The, here was the door, you can I remember, I, I entered here and there was a two air conditioning. Marcelo Rossi was the caretaker of the Robinson Crusoe monitoring station. We used to have two systems of uh, dishes here. This weighed a lot and those were swept away from the tsunami. The other one is underwater, over there. When the earthquake struck, sensors from the island's unmanned monitoring station automatically relayed a signal around the world. It's up to national authorities to issue an official warning. But people on the island itself didn't hear anything until the very last moment when a 12-year-old girl picked up an urgent call from her grandfather on the Chilean mainland. She rushed with her father to wake the sleeping islanders by banging a metal gong. Marcelo heard the warning, but just as his family got into his truck to escape, the massive wave hit. Y entra el, el agua muy fuerte, de hecho la casa que estaba al frente se destruye y la camioneta empieza a subir junto eh, con mi señora y mi hija que estaba dentro. Marcelo pulled his son to safety, but while trying to rescue their daughter, his wife was swept out into the bay. Eh, me comunico a través de gritos con ella y me dice que está bien. Yo no le creo porque la escucho muy deprimida. Ella estaba deprimida porque sintió que había perdido a Isabela y que se había ahogado. Yes, no era así. The water lodged the truck in the upper branches of a tree, just enough for Marcelo to pull Isabella to safety. Miraculously, the entire family, including Marcelo's wife, was spared, saved by the early warning of a distant gong. Al menos nuestra familia, yo creo que hubiéramos muerto los cuatro. Nos pilló afuera. Si no hubiéramos escuchado el gong, hubiéramos muerto. After four years of hauling away debris and making repairs, Robinson Crusoe's Islanders rebuilt the CTBTO monitoring station by the start of 2014. 
But the equipment was not yet back online, alerting the world to nuclear testing in the Pacific, the type of testing that once propelled a five-decade-long nuclear arms race during the Cold War. In the sandy wastes at Yucca Flat, Nevada, a new series of atomic explosions are set off. Tanks are among the obsolete pieces of army equipment. By the late 1960s, 70,000 nuclear warheads, some thousands of times more powerful than the first bombs dropped on Japan, had been perfected through testing, many in the Pacific Ocean. This is Bikini. It is here that the military will conduct the tests with the atomic bomb. By the end of the Cold War in the early 90s, more than 2,000 nuclear bombs had been detonated for tests on land, underwater, high in the atmosphere, and underground. Look, nuclear tests have been an issue uh, for a long time. Uh, Lucina Zerbo is the executive secretary for the CTBTO. Uh, it's important to limit the proliferation of weapon of mass destruction, which goes by testing. And by doing so, we stop newcomers into the field of possessing nuclear weapons. But not only this, we also stop those who have it to not develop more sophisticated nuclear weapons. Jose Miguel Insulza, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Chile, to sign the treaty. Since 1996, 183 countries have signed the United Nations Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, voluntarily agreeing to stop or never begin the testing of nuclear weapons, a treaty signed in good faith but verified by hard data. Right now we are at the International Data Center at CityBTO headquarters in Vienna. Georgios Harabalas is responsible for hydroacoustic engineering for CTBTO. The IMS, the International Monitoring System, uh, is a network of 321 stations and 16 laboratories to monitor continuously the world for signs of uh, nuclear explosions. In a sense, it's a global alarm system and is unique. Back on Robinson Crusoe, well before dawn, on the morning of the fourth anniversary of the tsunami, Marcelo begins coordinating an international team of engineers, oceanographers, software designers and contractors. Y sí, es como un reconocimiento también y reafirma eh, la, la creencia del lugar. Robinson Crusoe is critical to the CTBTO International Monitoring Network. Just offshore, the transcontinental cable ship, the CS Responder, has six underwater sensors called hydrophones that are waiting to be deployed underwater 25 kilometers north and south of the island. Resting at a depth where sound travels great distances, the triangulation of these underwater microphones allows the CTBTO to not only detect but pinpoint the exact location of explosions throughout the Pacific Ocean. You do hear sound underwater and if you stick your head in the water while you're swimming and there is a little motorboat even far away, you think it is much closer than it necessary is. Mario Zampoli is a hydroacoustic engineer with the CTBTO. Because uh, sound travels extremely well underwater, and that is also the reason why these hydrophones can hear explosions and sounds uh, almost throughout the entire Pacific Ocean. Robinson Crusoe's vertical mountains are also ideal to detect disturbances in the atmosphere. There are eight infrasound sensors on the island's mountaintops. Worldwide, the CTBTO also uses seismic sensors to detect movements in the ground and radionuclide sensors to sniff out any radioactivity in the air. Data collected by sensors is immediately sent to Vienna via satellite link. The system is fast and the CTBTO's international monitoring network has the entire planet covered. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year.
By nightfall, Marcelo and the team must have the monitoring station back online and in communication with Vienna. But first, a two-inch thick fiber optic cable must connect the hydrophones to the island's central recording facility. The connection begins when Marcelo meets the ship and grabs a line. With the help of a swimmer, this line is brought to shore and the meticulous work of hauling in a kilometer of transcontinental cable begins. As they pull the cable on shore, it's under extreme tension. One small error could snap the cable and set the project back days. Nosotros no estamos para improvisar. La idea es seguir un checklist y seguir haciendo esto para para no de un error o de un problema crear uno más. But even this highly skilled team is no match for poor weather. Rain has slowed the project to a crawl and now the tide has moved out, making it almost impossible to pull in the cast iron split pipe that will protect the cable from human activity near shore. When the tide finally returns at the end of the day, the cable is pulled in. All of this work is ultimately centered around these tiny fiber optic hairs. They are connected and initial tests begin. CRF, CRF, this is the cable vault. This is CRF, okay, everything is checked out. Um, calibration is complete. Confirmed. The data is immediately received by the CTBTO data center in Vienna via satellite link. Robinson Crusoe is back online. Estamos de vuelta. Estamos de vuelta en el sistema de monitoreo mundial. Somos parte nuevamente de eso. Y no solamente para tener un tratado internacional, sino que también puede ayudar para otros lugares del mundo en detectar si es que va o no un tsunami. While Chile works to ensure an early tsunami warning system for its people, the CTBTO International Monitoring System will continue to share its data for a variety of scientific purposes. It can track the fallout of volcanic eruptions, monitor the breakup of Arctic ice sheets, and even follow the migration of whales. And while the Robinson Crusoe station may be monitoring the Pacific once again, the CTBTO global network is still facing its biggest challenge yet. Some countries have yet to give the Test Ban Treaty its full support. The Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty uh, it hasn't entered into force yet. Eight countries have yet to ratify the Test Ban Treaty. Without ratification, the CTBTO cannot fulfill its mandate to conduct on-site inspections of suspected nuclear tests. We can detect an event, we can make the information available to our member state, but we need our on-site inspection capability. How long will it be before the Test Ban Treaty enters into force? That will be decided by world leaders balancing their own country's needs for security with the threat of nuclear proliferation. On Robinson Crusoe Island, the people already understand how vital cooperation is for their safety. Somos toda una comunidad que está frente a cualquier situación, estamos todos ahí para ayudarnos y no hace ser especial el, el sentido de ir. La lluvia, el viento, el, el mar, Todo produce una sensación de, 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 de aislado, pero eso también te hace más fuerte y poder resolver sus propios temas, ya sea alimenticios y de convivencia en general.